Welcome to Mathematical Thinking and Programming for Architects. This is a short tutorial about how to uh, configure your working environment with Mathematica so it fits the needs of our class. There have to be three things, things have to be done. So I presume that you uh, installed Mathematica. I have version 11.2, 11.3 is already available. Um, you get from our uh, web server or from GitHub a directory like that. This is our uh, environment. All the files we deliver have to be located there in plain line in this uh, document. So first you start. First thing to do is install a style sheet. So it might look awkward. For example, like this. Whatever, it's random. I developed a style sheet for our class. It's this uh, MTP style sheet NB. Open that. This is a style sheet. We will discuss it later what it is. You have to dis uh, install this style sheet and say MTP blank style sheet. So then you can forget this file. What we have then is that in style sheets we get this style sheet, predefined style sheet, and your documents should be here and you see then they get proper format. So that's the first step. Second step is I'm using the font Roboto and Roboto Mono. You have to install it to your system. On Macintosh, if there are YouTube videos, it's super simple to do that. And I think for you as an architect, it's quite interesting uh, to, do, to, to uh, play around with different fonts. With Google, there are hundreds of fonts uh, freely available, for example. So I choose uh, Roboto and Roboto Mono. And the application for that is, for, for example, I'm choosing this font book, for example. So and you simply have to drag and drop these folders in here. Put it here. It's already there, so I can forget it. And that's it. Then you have Roboto Mono available. Maybe you have to reinstall, uh, to reload uh, Mathematica to get the proper update uh, and so on. That's the second step. The third step is a little more tricky and uh, I will show you how it works and we don't want to do it later. So Shift, Command, O, you get all the options. So there are tons of options for uh, Mathematica. They are in this panel. You can go here, I think, I see even hidden. So a shift option, uh, the shift command O. Then you have options for selection for the actual notebook and for the whole installation. And you need this whole installation. And then here ask for a cell ID. So and we need this option in global preferences, this by category, and this has to be true. By default, it's, um, it's false. So just do it, and I could do it programmatic, uh, by program, but I think it's important that you uh, get these uh, steps that this is uh, available. So. Close it. It's for this simple uh, effect. I will show you. So, um, hey, hey, have uh, this text. So, if you go here, this is the code for it. So, you see it's a cell, the data, hey, hey, and it's an input field. Then you have time when it was created, and you have this cell ID. There's an identifier for this object. And I need for, all, for, for this class, I need this identifier in, in your writing. If it's not there, I can't uh, connect the cells with databases and so on. So change it so that cell ID is working. 
and here we can go back to the rendered uh, visualization of this text. So these three things need to be done to set up uh, Mathematica. So from then on, you can uh, freely work in here. You have, uh, for example, help for the installation. You uh, go for uh, tutorials. We have the first lecture and so on. This is how it works. Thanks for watching and see you soon.